Good morning. <clears throat> the downside to trying to do my Monday morning updates outside in my neighborhood is that I get mad at everybody that's outside of their homes. <laughs> and uh, there was just a dog down the street just going nuts, so I couldn't record. And then I've been walking, ho- holding my breakfast because I wanted to show you guys what I was eating. Because why not? Now, that may appear to just be toast and peanut butter, but it's not. On one side, There's toast and peanut butter and honey or something sweet. And then on the other side is a little bit of peanut butter and salt because I like savory as well. So I just go back and forth. It's kind of a surprise sometimes because I don't... That was the salt side. Mm -hmm. Um, Anyways, I'm in my neighborhood, but I won't be here for long because this week I leave for a while. Going home to Michigan to see my little nephew and prepare for some talks that I'm giving. My dad and I are speaking together. Well, first we're going up to Canada for some television show, so that's kind of exciting. And then, um, what's after that? Oh, and then I fly down to Atlanta for Plywood Presents with my friend Jeff Schinnebarger. Hopefully you guys are going to be there. I heard it sold out, so that's exciting. Um, And my friend Liz from Seiko Designs, she's also speaking, so we've always wanted to speak together dream come true Um, and then after that I fly straight to Colorado Springs for a boundless event that my dad and I are speaking at together so maybe you'll be there maybe I'll see you somewhere just don't show up at my parents home in Michigan (laughs) that would be scary Um, I had so many things I wanted to tell you oh and this last week I was on um, I did a segment on the relevant podcast and y'all were just so nice about me being on there and so they're having me come back for the full episodes for the next two weeks because Shauna Nyquist who is usually the female representative is gone and she had recommended me so thanks Shauna um what else there was other things I wanted to tell you guys but I can't remember it's just that I'm going to be gone a long time so please don't break into my apartment that's not my home I'm just sitting on a curb oh oh I know now I remember see there's my Adidas slides. I'm not joking when I say I wear these outfits. Um, Oh my gosh, you have to see this dog. Hold on. Oh, they went away. (laughs) There's a dog that's cut like a lion's mane, but it's like a small dog. It's pretty awesome. Um, There's a van blocking your view. Anyways, um, oh, last week I filmed a bunch of Ask Joys. And right before I did it, I showed you guys that I was filming most of them in my moo's. And then I said, do you guys have any extra questions? And I didn't get to all of them. But somebody on my Instagram wrote, why do we do everything on the count of three? One, two, three. I was like, that's a really good question. I don't know the answer. So I just Googled it a second ago. I still <laughs> well, choked on the peanut butter. Mm. Still the salty side. I couldn't find the answer. And so... Hi. Oh, look at that little dog. That is an awesome haircut. (laughs) He is a very pretty boy. (laughs) Little lion. Oh. (laughs) Um, uh, What was I saying? I lost my train of thought. Oh, I couldn't find the answer. So somebody has to find the answer of why it's one, two, three. We do everything on one, two, three. And I started thinking, when did that start? Because what if, for all time, we had just done one, two? (laughs) Think of all the time we could have saved. Deep Thoughts by Joy. Bye.